Crabs. Some of the most common and widely distributed crustaceans, and easily the most recognizable among them. The simple structure of two claws, many legs, and the ease in which this allows crabs to gather food makes them a success nearly anywhere. And with the success, imitations are bound to appear. Hermit crabs, perhaps the most notorious false crab, are the most well-known example of this. While not actively emulating crabs, some similarities in structure have led to confusion, as well as the misnomer they have today. This is very, very far from the most potent or accurate example of carcinization, or the evolution of other crustaceans into crab-like forms. This is, finally, where the king crab comes in. While it is believed to have derived from the same species as the hermit crab, over time it evolved to resemble the typical crustacean much, much more. And while less distinct, this strategy has proved to be effective alone, the king crab being found widely across the northern shores of Alaska, Russia, and Canada. This, of course, doesn't mean it is entirely unoriginal. The king crab does have spikes to deter predators and some parasitic techniques while young that are unique almost entirely to itself. But largely, it follows the same general principles of the common crab. One final important distinguisher is the king crab's status as a delicacy in many places near where it resides, most commonly Alaska. This has led to an abundance of overfishing, and while king crab meat is often considered to be some of the most tasteful and delicious seafood out there, the cost it has on the environment of our arctic oceans is not to be understated. This has led to the king crab's status as a protected animal in many parts where fishing is most common, and it has been able to flourish in recent years because of this protection. While not the most unique crustacean, the king crab holds an important niche in the environment of today.